statistics shows that when we build a diverse and inclusive culture, it has to start with our executive leadership, our CEO. And Safra, you really embody the support of diversity and inclusion. This brings me so much joy and pride, frankly, because we have been working on diversity actually for decades. And I'm glad we're doing more and getting recognition for it and hopefully attracting more people on our mission. Why is this not only the right thing to do, Safra, but considered a business imperative for Oracle? We are solving the world's hardest problems here at Oracle. We actually are trying to cure cancer here and trying to catch COVID and keep people's security close in and not in danger. And you know what? To solve these problems, you need everyone on the mission with you. So sometimes you do it just because it is the right thing to do. But the bonus here is it's the best thing to do for any business. I can tell you, I wouldn't be where I am today if folks did not fight their unconscious bias when I first started. To give new folks who don't necessarily have exactly the background that they were thinking of, but who show both a commitment and an intelligence and a willingness to learn. It has to be throughout the company all the way. And being good allies and being good mentors and being um, connected in those ways with people who understand or ally with you, ERGs are our soul. In addition, we have the Executive Diversity Council, we have the Executive Steering Committee with Al, and with those two power of those programs, this is how we evolve change, expand the diverse and inclusive culture. You know, it is a collective effort. We want to be attracting more and more great ideas, hard workers, and, and really brilliant people who are also wonderful to be on this mission with us and make life a lot more fun and interesting.